What's up guys, my name is Jellycut5 and welcome back to a player review on the channel today. But before we get into things, it'd be much appreciated if you're able to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, don't forget to hit the notification button so you never miss a video. And in terms of my socials, they are all linked down below. Before also when we start, I'd like to say congratulations to Ivory Coast to be able to win the African Cup of Nations. Obviously, we did the review on Ibrahim Sangre previously in the week, and luckily they have blessed us with this upgraded showdown card. In terms of the stats, we've got 84 pace, 72 shooting, 84 pass. 86 dribbling, 88 defending and 90 physical. He displays a medium high work rate with a 3 star 4 star with a mostly lengthy acceleration type. I'll go into the means in terms of what the difference is between the car but obviously from what we can see here this is a massive upgrade and this is what you get when you buy, buy the players of like Yaya Toure Patrick Vieira, the same sort of roles that they play in and this is a massive massive upgrade on what we've got and for only 100,000 coins if you were to have missed out on actually choosing this card or if you didn't actually choose it originally I feel very very, very sorry for you, that is for sure. And as you can see, it's nice to be able to see all the detailed attributes, what they've actually upgraded at the same time. They've upgraded his sprint speed, his attack position, his shot power, his short, short pass there, long pass, 88, 88, really, really strong there. 86 ball control, 86 dribbling, so plus two on that. So it's plus two on, on all these things. 89 defensive awareness there, 88 standing tackle, 90 slide tackle, 95 strength. I mean, this is a mega, mega card as a holding midfielder. I mean, this is solid. I mean, you wouldn't be able to get this. And we might even, in time, if they were to release an Evo. We might even be able to whack him into an Evo. So, imagine what card this could actually turn into. It's unbelievable. But, off the bat, you can see the upgrades on the plus two across the board. Obviously, we're more focusing on the midfielder sides of things in terms of his actual defending, his passing like that. I wouldn't focus too much on his shooting sides. Even though that has had an upgrade, I wouldn't feel like that's something that would really judge this card on due to the fact that this is mostly a holding midfielder. In terms of chemistry styles, I would actually apply a powerhouse, to be honest, and that upgrades his defending and passing. Obviously, that will exceed his defending to 90, and that will go to his passing near to 90 also. So, I feel like that would be a big upgrade being made. In terms of his play styles, we've still got five play styles. Nothing's changed on that actual means, so nothing to be able to be excited about in terms of a different play style than that. He's already got very good play styles, and he's got one play style plus that is very, very, very reliable, which is the block. So, I feel like that's a very, very good thing to have, especially in the position that he plays in. If you haven't watched my previous video on this actual card itself, I would actually go and say go and watch that and then watch this. But in terms of actually what you had previously, and as you can see, the plus two on each and every stat, very, very much the case of even though it's plus two, we can just see the massive upgrade. Obviously, no difference on the play styles, no difference in terms of weak foot or skill moves, anything like that. It's purely based on the plus twos. I mean, it just gives it such a boost, to be honest, and very much differs in game. So if you weren't to have realised what this card previously was, there it is. That's what he's got now. He's gone from 87 to 89 and he's got plus two on every single stat that he displays on the card in front. Normally in every player that I go in, I actually normally do list the pros and the cons, but if you have actually watched the video, you'd know what I'd actually talked about previously in the pros and cons, and if you haven't already, please check that out. I'll put a link down in below in the description just so you're able to watch that in, in, de in depth. I'd normally put a bit of music over, show you the goals, and obviously talk about him there, but I'd actually like to talk about him in depth, just showing you the attributes that he can do in-game. Sometimes when we get upgrades in cards, we don't actually find that there's an actual upgrade in game. You wouldn't actually know the difference, but in all honesty, this card has gone from one level to another. It's been so, so refreshing to be able to have a card that's had been upgraded, and you can actually notice it in game. He's such a, such a powerhouse. I mean, for 100,000 coins, as I said, if you were to have done this SBC, you have got an absolute monster on your hands. Unbelievable card. He can do everything that you want him to do. He can pass. He can shoot. He can head the ball. He can run from one length to the other. He doesn't run out of stamina. I mean, everything think that you'd possibly want within a holding midfielder you've got for a hundred thousand coins only if you've done the SBC bearing in mind you cannot go and do this SBC there is no means of doing it whatsoever so if you did kind of bank on being able to have it where Ivory Coast were to win the African Cup of Nations then I say you have obtained a massive massive card his dribbling stats are unbelievable the way he holds the ball and he's able to just to go through players is really really good he possesses some sort of striker or winger role about him but he's an actual holding midfielder at the same time the only the only negative I would say is the agility sometimes can lack, so sometimes weaving in and out of players, I feel like that's that like one thing that he lacks in, but otherwise we've got such a good card in your hands. Obviously, he is a holding midfielder, so even though I'm displaying goals on the pitch itself, you're going to have to put him in them positions, you're going to have to put the LBA passes, you're going to have to get him there in the first place. He's not your typical midfielder that's going to go and score you goals game after game after game. If you want to run with him and do the dribbling that you can literally see on screen right now, then fair enough, but 
but most of the time he will be in that holding position. So for argument's sake, if you've got the ball in the middle of the park and you've gone to play it forward, he won't make that direct run. He will sit in that position because he is a holding midfielder. Even though he's got the actual uh, alternative position of a centre mid, so you could play him a bit more forward, that's got nothing to do with what he actually does in game. His sole position is a holding midfielder. And if you were to have used him, you'll be able to tell that with his work rates and everything else. He's solely focusing on defending. But if you want him to push forward, he's definitely got the capabilities of being able to do so at the same time. As I say, he can head the ball because he's very tall. He can shoot at the same time. He's got the upgraded shooting. And I feel like it's not that bad, to be honest. His long shots are very powerful. And to be honest, his actual short range shooting at the same time is very good. And as you can see, a lovely dink over the keeper there. So he's got it all. We can do everything. His passing is so much better, even though that plus two stat, and you would think about it and go, oh, it's not that much. It definitely makes such a difference, that is for sure. He's able to assist the ball really well. His direct passing on the floor, really, really accurate, and long passing as well is much, much better. I mean, overall, I mean, these showdown cards are obviously a 50-50. Some people can do these, and they will never get an upgrade due to the fact of what, obviously, if the team wouldn't have won. But if you were to have had it where the team would have won, and you've actually got yourself an upgraded card, I feel like it's such a hidden gem to be able to save coins at the same time. It's a, such a refreshing card to use. I've always liked to use holding midfielders in-game. I feel like they're not used as much in-game because everyone wants to go attack, attack, attack. No one wants to think about the defending sides to a game. So you get the best of both worlds. If you want him to score, he can score. If you want him to defend, he can defend. I think that's the differences with this card. And it's so, so nice to use. And he's so direct. I mean, because he possesses such a high level of strength, there's no way you're pushing him off the ball whatsoever. Unless you were to run into the player yourself where you've actually made an, an error by the user, then fair enough. But in terms of being able to actually use him going forward, there's no getting him off the ball whatsoever. His strength is just unbelievable. He's so good at being able to turn his man, being able to go into that pocket of space, charge forward. And as you can see right there, he can just hold the ball, turn. And that's what you want in your midfielders. And that's the difference between him. But let me know if you've used him. Let me know if the upgrades have actually made a difference to your game. And let me know if you actually chose him. But with that being said, I hope you guys have enjoyed this player review. Please like and subscribe for more content just like this one. And don't forget to hit the notification button so you never miss a video. Cheers.